Did you know that I have another YouTube stream? It's on German, but if you're capable of that language, uh, go up there. Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsasi, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Uh, still without mining any natural generated blocks and last time we collected materials in these two chests for today's project which will be a moss farm to generate all the bone meal we will ever need uh, so let's get right into the build the first part and a bit more is done here on this uh, hopper line in the middle there we will have all the um, compostable items that then are uh, funneled through into the composter and the bone meal sucked out uh, over there and over here into this uh, system and then spat out into this water stream that goes all the way down there and wraps around here and on each side we have four of these hoppers they go into a dispenser under the moss block here under the uh, target block we have a note block and redstone line here along this side and this will actually activate the droppers down below so triggering or bone mealing the moss and uh, generating more moss out of stone uh, same thing here on the other side uh, here it's not exactly symmetrical but this part uh, here in the middle is uh, there on this side we will have eventually a collection system and then on the outside there's a bit of uh, redstone there as well we will come to that in due time now it's time to look into the second part which is basically all the redstone which calls this contraption here but first something else did you know that i have another youtube stream it's on german but if you're capable of that language uh, go up there uh, and uh, there should be a card linked to the German playlist where I focus a bit more on the building side and not so much on uh, how to get blocks without mining them. So here that's the turn on off switch which basically controls this torch um, which locks this uh, hopper here where we have one item in it and that if the hopper is not locked then basically the item circles around and we occasionally get a signal out here which trickles down to uh, this contraption and then goes there to the back over to the other side we will have a look at it then we also have an observer um, which observes this uh, repeater uh, and basically um, controls the clock as uh, this then powers these two blocks down here uh, this one was a bit more delayed than this one and that's how these droppers get powered and the item moved forward in a controlled speed not hopper speed so the the two sides here on top they are basically identical 
and the uh, sticky pistons uh, those will be uh, the ones that pull the generated stone down that we will have on these two sides and then we have a double piston extender with a sticky piston in the back normal piston in the front that will push these two blocks forward and the way this works is through here we have a redstone torch uh, which powers basically the whole line here in the back and thanks to our target blocks we can bend the redstone line in here and uh, bring the signal up there and with the uh, observers here on top the back one will observe the uh, piston and then power uh, the block above to extend the second one. Then here of course in the middle this is a clock. Uh, we, we, we have the uh, signal uh, from the uh, rail uh, with the uh, observer uh, which basically um, then pushes this observer uh, all the way to that side, all the way to this side, and every time uh, it's moved in front of this block, this block gets powered, powering this line. And this rail is powered when this observer is moved over uh, and then back, which is controlled through this one here. And of course on this side we have the same contraption. It's a bit narrow to get around here. So same thing here. Um, and here we have uh, these blocks are powered through the target and up. And the ones here are side into this block uh, and up. And then here, of course, we have the same setup. Uh, all the way on the uh, top, there is a bit of uh, redstone still missing. As you saw, we do have redstone going that way to the back. Uh, and uh, that way to the back but then we also have this piece here which is basically a delay circuit and then it goes up there and uh, where this leads that's that's not yet in place um, but what we have here on the side is basically we power this torch um, with a bit of, uh, of a delay and uh, we power uh, this block with a bit of delay. So that means that uh, we have two ticks uh, but they, um, they are uh, offset from each other. So uh, let's finish this build and then we can finally get some bone meal. The last puzzle pieces are now also in place and as you can see here in the middle there is a solid layer of stone. Uh, then uh, here we basically have a hopper line which will collect all the uh, mossy uh, drops that are generated. Then here on the side below the lava we also have stone. You can see that here on the side. And that is generated when the lava flows down, uh, touches the water which flows in from the side. 
the stone is generated, which is then uh, pulled down and pushed out. And here on the side, there we then have the uh, bone mealing of the moss, which will spread up, creating more moss. And then we have these waterlocked trapdoors, which are all powered at the moment. But as soon as this power goes away, everything is washed to the middle. And that's what this power line from down here does. So the water washes everything that's on top of the, of the blocks into the middle. So that's uh, azalea, um, grass, carpet. And the uh, pushing of the blocks towards the middle will break the actual moss blocks, which will then also pop up because down here we do have a layer of glass, which is also necessary to prevent uh, the spreading of the bone milling anywhere else. And it actually affects the stone up here. So this is probably also a good time to, uh, to mention that this farm uh, is a design by uh, El Mango. Uh, link down in the description as always. So the last thing that I need to do is uh, collect some bone meal uh, to fill into the uh, the. Uh, dispensers down there so we can start up the farm uh, produce more bone meal and at some point uh, it will be self-sufficient and here on this side I probably will have some hoppers chests so we can actually collect the bone meal so let's get to that and see if this actually works all the bones that I could find have been converted to bone meal and placed in the dispensers down there. So let's give this a try. So far it's looking good. I believe. Let's see here. That's mainly a thing with uh, the visual update. Probably not keeping up because here there is a chunk border. So this is a thing I usually forget because it's best if you line up this farm so the chunk border is either here or here so you have this all in one chunk and this all in one chunk but nevertheless it is working and if we go down we also should see some bone meal flowing there yep there we had it great so now we are set for bone meal for life and if not, we always can extend this farm in this direction here. Uh, that's why I place it that way. But I think this size should be good enough for our needs. So uh, that means 
I can focus on another project next time. So until then, goodbye!